think of the song where this is the refrain. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one's the Restore by Habitat for Humanity in Grimsby, Ontario. It's on the South Service Road by the QE. Just inside the door, we have this uh, aisle that follows the exterior wall with some of it being the window. So you've got the uh, more casual items there. Then we get into the artwork touch of the furniture and chairs and the other items and just touch around the corner you've got the books with some of the artwork again some nice looking book sets there too there is a little bit of clothing. Um, these look like uh, winter coats. There are some other shirts and some of them are work shirts. Some of them are more casual in dress. It all depends on what was donated to the store. Some of the artwork, we'll be seeing stills of some of those in a moment. A bit of a overview of the furniture area which takes up a significant portion of the store. Here's one of the pieces. And it's pear. This was over um, to the left slightly. A view of the chairs, they're on two, well, the chairs are above. There's other items that are not tall below them. There's a vintage stool type step stool in the true sense. The uh, item to the on the right of that beige item You'll be seeing that in a future video. Oh, well not that exact item, but a, a mate to it Reasonably good selection of chairs there are seem to be some sets so this item we will be seeing in the in another video in the near future it has a mate Some loungers, some easy chairs, some loungers, chaise long as well. A uh, number of tables and end tables and cabinets are spread around the area. Some are display cases from the we just so looked through. bunch of china cabinets have been garnered to this location. There's the cash area and the doors to the left of that. And there you see the art and the books. So you had pretty well a circle view. This is the other side of the chair aisle where they have some other consumer items. 
the other side of that, they've got some some cl more clothing, and that's at the cash desk. And then there's an aisle of smaller hardware items, whether they're electrical tools, drill bits, saws, things of that nature. This one's got the electrical because it's got the lights above it and table lights along the top shelf, as long as the, as, as well as the button lights for the ceilings and other chandelier types. There was some exercise equipment, some uh, full-size appliances, and some smaller appliances as well. That's the over-the-range type of um, microwave. Gas cooktop. And the second gas cooktop. They have been examined by somebody that the uh, restore has to ensure that they are uh, in reasonably good condition so they can be used. And some sm small appliances again. That was near the front door and that was a little deeper in. And a selection of uh, kitchen cabinetry and doors. Actually had new in box uh, adjustable beds. They, are, they didn't have a full selection of widths. So these were the sizes that don't sell as well, like, uh, is what my guess is. I think there may have been a queen as well, but I think they were doubles. In any case, you can check it out if you choose to still try to get there. Small appliances, as I was saying, there's a variety of different ones. Some small tools as well. I think they may have had some additional artwork here, but uh, more in the way of bits and pieces for doing new builds that the um, Habitat for Humanity is so well known for. Some of the folks will take their spending allowance uh, they build up during the build to f help furnish and personalize the, the, the construction that the uh, organization does. Some, um, some tool or uh, might have actually been a transit. They do have some uh, liquid pro uh, products for uh, sealing of foundations. I believe that's what that was. Yes, they come in gallon cans or 3.8 liter containers. Um, not necessarily the most environmentally appropriate. They had a whole pile of pallets of these tiles, porcelain tiles. I guess whoever had them in their store, probably one of the big boxes, just decided they couldn't sell because the color, I guess, may have gone out of style. Then there's these windows that have been removed from some place. Possibly the folks got new windows, so they donated the old ones here. They in include having um, sheet flooring. They're in rolls up at the top. And they have been measured prior to being rolled up, so you don't have to think about opening it all up. There you see some of them. And then there's the selection of doors along the side there the um, oh some cross-country skis some 
countertops and kitchen closet, uh, kitchen cupboard doors and other trim work. So they have full kitchens in here. Now, obviously it needs to work for your shape of kitchen. Some toilets there and another view of some of the windows and other items. Then there are some of the other uh, bits of building materials such as roof venting, uh, skylights, um, light ton tubes, light tunnels, whatever you want to call those. And a selection of filters, furnace filters. Well, thanks for watching. I'd appreciate if you give us a subscribe and a like and maybe even a mark on the bell so you know when the next video is posted. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.